Hey guys, Steve here with the strategy session for July 8th, 2014. Uh, we had a fairly bearish day in the market. Um, the S&P E-minis were down 10.5 points um, right to this consolidation area, as you can see. So, I mean, as bad as it felt, we're really just pulling back to a trend line and the previous support, which was resistance uh, of this box breakout here. Longer term, obviously, the, uh, the S&P still looks strong. Um, maybe due for a rest, but you know that's for the pricing action to tell us. We're not predicting anything at this point. So uh, we did have only five, or I'm sorry, six stocks on our watch list that were green today. So we'll just run through those real quick, and then uh, we'll review our positions, um, and we'll kind of make this short and sweet. There's really not much to talk about, too much over, not much to overanalyze. Uh, and we're really just looking at pricing. So the first one was Baxter International. It had a nice 0.67% move, pushing right up to the resistance and our breakout level of 75.65. Uh, you know, with earnings coming up on the 17th, probably won't get a trade before that. But uh, again, the setup is strong. We had a nice consolidation area on the weekly chart, and it looks like now that 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 area is going to be tested, especially that it was higher. On, uh, on a down day. EQR almost had a, a trade entry on this, but uh, the way the close was, um, I kind of shied away from it a little bit. But as you can see on the on the weekly chart, we, you know, we're, we're moving higher nice, nicely along this trend line. We did break out above this bigger consolidation area, and now we're in a smaller little area here. So I was looking for a breakout above uh, let's see the 65 or 6350 area we had it for most of the day and then towards the end of the day it sold off and closed you know pretty much right at it um, with that said you know we're going to take a pass we'll re reset the alert for an, for that same 6350 area and see if we can get a trigger tomorrow because I do like uh, I do like that setup and, and you know if you we took this setup we can have our stop down here at the 6067 level or a more aggressive trader can really put their stop right around this 6250 level. So we'll see how that plays out. Mondelez, this was another one that I thought maybe we were going to get an entry on. Again, uh, it was up on a, on a weekday. It broke, it poked its head pretty much right above that resistance, right to where it's done the last three times. Um, you know, so I was hoping we would get a little push through and then we can get a breakout. But again, this may utilize some more time to consolidate come closer to this weekly trend line and then see if we can get a breakout from there as of right now i did adjust the stop a little bit and we're i'm sorry the alert a little bit so we're at 3850 uh so a close above 3850 would trigger an entry into this another one that was up for the day was kimberly clark you know we're, again we're pushing back up to that upper resistance level um, hasn't really been able to push above that the last say one, two, three, three times. So you know, again, earnings coming up on the 22nd. So we're getting into that, you know, within a two-week period of earnings. But we we'll usually try and pass on trades. Um, but for right now, stop. Or, or I'm sorry, I keep saying stop. The uh, alert is 113. So I'll close above 113 would trigger an entry. Exxon Mobil was another one that. Again, moving to that upper resistance level, you know, earnings aren't until it looks like the end of the month. So if we can get another push higher in the next couple days, you know, that could definitely be an entry. And then we have this weekly trend line that's running right through here and the consolidation area. So that would definitely be a nice setup and a nice uh, a nice trade to take with with a breakout above, let's say, 104.60. So we can really use this this level here as the secondary confirmation I guess you would say I usually won't wait till that but you know if you if for a more conservative trader you could definitely wait till 10460 which would be a breakout on the weekly chart as well and the last one that was up today was ADP this one again it's right it's sitting right above previous resistance um, I really like the way it's consolidating I thought we were gonna have an entry on this as this morning it was it was obviously higher but, you know, again, it closed back within that four or five day range. 
So we're really looking for a break now above 80.72 um, and see where we can go from there. If we can get that break, you know, then again, you have a couple of different options for your stop. It could be 78.21. Uh, it could be in this 78.75 level, or you could be really tight with it and put it right at this 79.61. Um, I'm a little bit more conservative, so I usually try and keep my stops wide to stay in the trades longer and let them work instead of trying to time everything exactly correct. The positions that we did enter yesterday, um, we entered Apple, ADM, and AMT, so we'll just run through those real quick. Apple pulled back, came right into that previous support level, or I'm sorry, previous resistance level and bounced off of that this afternoon with, uh, you know, with this little, uh, tail here so you know that one is working fine our stop still is down around this $90 level and we got filled uh, well I'll go over the fills in a minute actually ADM was another one and again same thing if you watch the free trade idea it's this is the first free trade idea that we have and if you haven't you already subscribed please make sure you subscribe to the free trade idea on the blog um, it's definitely some good information that I put out every night and, and and we can try and take a trade from start to finish and really get a sense of how how I trade and how I would you know take the position and and manage the position but the same thing you know we did have a pullback nothing to write home about uh, our stop still sits at 43.51 and the last was AMT American Tower you know really an inside day Inside day meaning, you know, most of the action is between this large body candle. Not really anything to uh, that would change or persuade how uh, how we felt about the trade. But again, you know, I'd like to see obviously in the next couple of days a push uh, over 91 just to really confirm that you know this is a this is a good port a portion to get into. And then uh, our stop sits at. Right now is at 87.75. So the fills we had were just to go over the spreadsheet real quick. We bought 126 shares. We got filled at 96.33 of Apple, 250 shares at 46.59 of ADM, and 250 shares at 90.57 of AMT. Uh, so right now, open P&L we're down $368. So nothing really to. Uh, shake any you know to be concerned about shake us out of anything and there were a couple stocks that had some rough days uh, LinkedIn this was one that I think we set both both alerts at for a breakdown and a breakout um, so this one obviously is breaking down we can modify the the trend line a little bit and really kind of get an idea of you know so if you if I were to short this this would be a, a potential short we could have a stop over this 174 level uh, and and then enter uh, at tomorrow's breakout or, um, tomorrow's open so like I said we're, we're, I'm not looking to make pennies when we have dollars to make on the other side so but if, it, if you did want to short it that would be a good setup for that Walgreens is also one that's breaking down a little bit, breaking underneath the the uh, previous box area, breaking under this trend line. Um, I would probably not short this. If you were to short it, you would look at that trend line there and put your stop right above 74, 74.50 um, and enter again at tomorrow's open. And Amazon, just right back in the box, right test in the bottom of the box we'll see how that reacts and green mountain coffee you know again we didn't enter because of this topping tails you know we felt that the that this would probably come back and test inside the box a little bit more and that's what it's doing so i, I guess that's really it for today guys i mean there's really no point to belabor all of this um there's really nothing we can do there's no positions to take uh, there's no stops to adjust. So right now we just wait for our alerts to do what they're supposed to do um, and manage that, manage our positions that we're in. 
uh, and you know see what tomorrow brings. So maybe we'll get some more entries tomorrow. Maybe not. Maybe we'll uh, we'll be able to adjust some stops. I doubt it. But you know, again, I try to I try to move everything up in in increments and eventually start locking in profits and let the winners run and let the losers and cut the losers. So again, with that said, you know, as I said before, if you haven't subscribed to the free trade idea, please do so. You also follow me on stock twits and Twitter and, uh, you know, you could subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Um, and with that said, guys, have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow.